Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Kittle Rodan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon by talking about their merchandising, theme parks, movies, whatever the case might be, documentaries. And literally in my last video, I said I don't want to talk about this until later. Looks like I spoke too soon, way too soon, because here we go again. Yeah, the whole Florida the thing, yep. Yeah. So, Alfred and I literally just got to watching this a moment ago. So, I'm going to do this real quick because I, again, I want to prevent myself from being too repetitive here. And the lady in the red, you see right there, she's acting as if it's a bad thing. And that, oh, it's going to be a, um, uh, Disney may keep what, uh, what, do you, what they call it, self-governing thing, which will pay for roads and all that, which would do, end up doing anyway. And yeah, uh, the thing is, that I basically made a quick little report here how the laws, if anything happens, looks like these may keep what they're trying to do. All right, just basically giving a quick summary like I was doing. And so yeah, they were disappointed about the fact that there's a slim chance that nothing will change at all. Like the lady in the red, a short amount ago, says that it, 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 it could be, it's going to be a burden for the taxpayers. But in reality... If this bill passed, the bill that they want to pass may be a burden for the for the for the taxpayers anyway. But she's trying to state that if Disney doesn't change, oh, that's the, that's the burden for the taxpayers, which is a lie. It's the other way around to be a burden. But basically, like I said, I just want to give a quick summary here, just get to the point because, like I said, I want to keep this under ten minutes here. I don't want to um, get along for too long because I've been going at this for quite some time anyway. Basically, if there's any changes, if any at all, in any shape or form, I try to strip away what they will call the Disney's self-governing thing, which will end up paying for the paying for the roads, pay for the um the the gas, the uh food supply or whatever. Which so the taxpayers are which the taxpayers are doing anyway. I mean, okay, to be super specific here, it's the Disney company that's paying for all that. And you think about and yeah, but this is a confusing affair anyway because of the fact that the taxpayers are already paying for the roads. They're paying to shop in it because in the Disneyland, there's there are you know places where you can eat, places we can buy shoes. Play well, I think shoes. Uh, from, uh, I don't remember. I think you buy shoes, but definitely you buy other forms of clothing like a like a like clothing for women, clothing for men. Uh, the shoes, maybe the um, the T-shirt. Basically, you can buy stuff within the place anyway, and you pay the tickets, like I was saying. So they're gonna use that money anyway to be used to take care of itself. But what I'm saying that if, like I was saying a moment ago, if there is, if there is any changes, if any at all, after June first of two thousand twenty-three, after that date, Dizzy could. Revolt, whatever, uh, reverse. Yeah, I guess that's a better word. Reverse whatever decision that they made, and you could go back to what it was doing anyway, which means this entire thing would have amounted to, to absolutely positively nothing. And uh, like I was saying, <sighs> heaven Almighty, I'm just trying to prevent myself from repeating too much. I'm just trying to get a point here. I don't want this to go too long. Okay, about to be done here, folks. Just about. So, at the end of the day, like I said, again and again and again and again, it it all has something to do with the fact that the 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 Republicans, like the one I just showed you in the in the um, like the Republican just showed you a moment ago, the one dude who, who was trying to. Do, hey, I show you him again. Uh, this guy right here. He's really trying to push legislation to get rid of Disney's thing, even though they couldn't go back to it anyway afterwards. But, of course, it's going to go into the whole idea of, you know, collecting trash, cleaning the toilets when they're used, make sure the entire theme park, the entire theme park clean, make sure the workers are in good, um, in a good area, the environment's all clean and everything. Well, at least as best they could, you know, because those are, those are like, a truck ton of people anyway. But point being, they just want to, 
the the the, the Disney land people, the people who work there, and the, the governing thing they keep referring to, they're doing what they've already been doing anyway. They're already doing what they're supposed to be doing. So what's the problem anyway? They're trying to remove that thing they're trying to do, but then put that thing that they're trying to do. I don't care what these plugins, what plugins are trying to do. I kind of do because the LGBT thing, which in the video I just showed you that yeah, there's someone in the in the video, uh, did admit the yes, yeah, like I was said. Uh, I'll let you hear him in just a second. It, it goes into what I believe the right that we're doing. Democratic lawmaker Carlos Guillermo Smith tells me this is all about the governor punishing Disney for rejecting his new parental rights and education law, dubbed by critics the don't say gay law. That DeSantis and Republicans are willing to use the full power of the state to go after them and punish them for speaking out against their agenda. And that's pretty frightening, if you ask me. But I already thought that. I already knew that was the issue. I already knew that's the reason to try to attack Disney for that very reason. I already knew that. And I mentioned that already in my previous videos. Oh, boy. Just, I'm just pretty much just arguing the same thing, but maybe slightly different, I guess. And, uh, but whatever, I guess. I don't um, I guess it's a bit different in some ways, but it, at the end of the day, it's that what was just mentioned a moment ago, folks. Just, wow, okay. So, I just want to bring this up because of the fact that, it's, like I just said earlier in the video, Air and I just got to watching this, and even though in my previous video I said I don't want to talk about this until later, I guess I said that um, way too soon because I, I felt that it was going to be, I was going to take a while. It's not literally, literally what right when I uploaded the, my previous video. Here we are. <sighs> All right, folks. I just thought I'd just do this real quick. It's newsworthy. I've been covering this anyway. Folk, uh, I've been covering this anyway. <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> God. That's not, that's not for the, uh, the Republicans. Well, these Republicans anyway. Uh, that's not for the shit. There's conservatives as well and whatnot. Being sincere, yeah, being sincere, my ass, is what I'm getting at, folks. They, they're saying they're doing it for the family, but no, they're not. They, they are not doing it for the family. They're doing it because Disney's making a lot of money. That's all it is. Disney making, is making a lot of money. That's it. Ugh, whatever. Later, folks. Later. As always, thanks for watching, and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh, yeah. Oh, Later.